Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about requirements, elicitation and analysis. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like the video and don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of requirements, elicitation and analysis. So before explaining the process of requirements, elicitation and analysis, uh, you should understand that requirements, elicitation is the part of requirement engineering process. Right. So requirement engineering process is nothing but so to collect the requirements I can't collect the requirements at a shot. So to collect the requirements there is a process that is nothing but a requirement engineering process. If you want to know more about the requirement engineering process the link is in the description section. So requirement elicitation and analysis is part of the requirement engineering process. Now. So to do the requirements elicitation, elicitation and analysis, you should understand that uh, requirement in, uh, elicitation involves different kinds of people in an organization. So to do the elicitation, simply I can't do the elicitation. I need to collect the right opinions of so many people. So who are these people? Who are these stakeholders? So these people are nothing but the people those who are related to the software those who are related to the project those who are in the company getting guys so a stakeholder is nothing but a system stakeholder is anyone who use who should have some direct or indirect influence on the software requirements right a stakeholder is a person of a company or a stakeholder may be a customer also right so this uh, per person in a company or a customer can have a direct or indirect contact with your software you know that right stakeholders may include the customers who will interact with the software and anyone else in the company who will be affected by it for example project manager system developer test engineers these are all stakeholders not only the customers getting guys so to do the requirement uh, elicitation i need to collect the opinion of all these users all the stakeholders who are directly or indirectly uh, right will be in contact with your software getting guys hope you are understanding guys so the requirement elicitation and analysis process mainly contains four steps the requirement illustration process first step is requirement discovery second one is requirement classification and organization third one is requirements prioritization and negotiation and lastly the output that is requirement specification getting guys if i want to collect the requirement simply i can't do that right it is a uh, uh, tedious process it has uh, having certain steps so what is the first step so that is uh, requirement discovery so requirement elicitation means i need to collect the requirement opinions of the people right so how you are going to do that means by using a requirement discovery see so the process requirement discovery means this is the process of interacting with the stakeholders i already told you i need to collect the opinions of the people the people can be customer or a developer test engineer I want to interact with all these people because I need to collect the requirements, complete requirements, consistent requirements, proper requirements. So in this requirement discovery what I will do uh, in this process I am going to interact with the stakeholders to discover their requirements. And also one more important thing domain requirements from stakeholders and documentations are also discovered during this activity along with in the simple words along with discovering the requirements i need to develop the documentation also so in the next step after collecting the requirements from our stakeholders by interviewing our stakeholders in the next step i'm going to classify my requirements why i need to classify because after collecting the requirements from the stakeholders that requirements are unstructured unstructured means 
for example authentication feature requirements can be grouped as one group now after for example consider it is a banking application so authentication requirements can be grouped as one group create account features uh, requirements can be grouped as another group canceling the account features can be grouped as one group c i'm grouping the all related requirements because it may will be easy for me right once i develop uh, once i start designing once i start uh, uh, writing the programs uh, it will be easy for me to write the programs according to the specific requirements group of requirements right getting guys so the second uh, step is to classify the requirements according to their uh, right characteristics okay i should organize my requirements properly so one one requirements one one group like that so in the third step i need to prioritize my requirements prioritize means what so st uh, multiple stakeholders right may tell so many requirements when stakeholders uh, uh, tell so many requirements some of the requirements may conflict for example uh, so if i consider two customer requirements one customer requirement requirement may conflict with the other customer so this conflict should not be there right and uh, moreover uh, stakeholders may tell so many thousands of requirements but i can't uh, include all the thousand requirements in my software i need to give the priority priority means i need to give the importance uh, within thousand requirements i should uh, maybe i can select 300 requirements only 300 requirements i may left 700 requirements why i need to prioritize them i need to select the important requirements and i need to avoid the conflict uh, what uh, repeated requirements no duplicate requirements needs to be avoided i need to select only the important requirement i need to negotiate with the customers yes i can i may to i may have to make them understand i need to make them understand no these requirements can't be added because uh, these are less important i need to negotiate with them i need to uh, right include only the important requirements that is the third step getting guys so requirement collection is not a simple process elimination you have to do right elimination you have to do prioritization you have to do Cla classification you have to do getting guys so you have to um, resolve the differences because stakeholders may not agree yeah no you they may compel you to include their requirement no i have to negotiate with them i have to uh, i have to compromise with them right getting guys like that so first you have to discover the requirements next you have to classify once the classification is over you have to prioritize them thousands of requirements will be there in the group no i can't include all of them you only you have to include important requirements that is the third step lastly this is the final output this is the requirement specification document this is the final output the requirements are documented documented means you have to create a file you have to create a file of all the requirements getting guys getting so this is the final output this requirement specification contain all the requirements from all the stakeholders so eliciting and understanding requirements from system stakeholder is a difficult process definitely why yes uh, you collected the requirements uh, now the requirements are ready but to collect this requirements it is not a easy job you have some difficulties why what are the reasons first reason stakeholders often don't know what they want from the computer system except in the most general terms sometimes stakeholders they don't know what they need actually right they may find it difficult to articulate what they want the system to do for example they may need 
demand some unrealistic uh, requirements unrealistic means theoretically they may tell like that but practically it is uh, impossible for us to develop it <coughs> they are unaware of the cost they can tell but what about the cost getting guys they may don't know what to expect <coughs> this is the first difficulty <coughs> excuse me the second thing stakeholders naturally express requirements in their own terms and with implicit knowledge of their own work that's for example if our uh, engineers don't have the experience of the customer domain definitely they will face it difficult suppose if a customer uh, is telling about the banking requirements our developers also should have the knowledge of the banking domain otherwise it will become difficult that is the second difficulty and third one different stakeholders have different requirements which may they express in different ways <coughs> <coughs> next different stakeholders have different requirements which they may express in different ways requirement engineers have to consider all the potential sources of requirements and discover commonalities and conflicts because sometimes what happens when a uh, different different stakeholders uh, tell the requirements in different different ways uh, we may get the same requirements more number of times that's why uh, we have to uh, check for the common requirements and we have to Uh, check for the conflict requirements and we have to uh, filter them we have to filter them that is the difficulty right so next what is the difficulties political factors may influence the requirements of the system political factors means what managers may demand for specific system requirements because uh, that requirements from managers may easy their uh, job right along with that the it may increase the reputation of the manager in the organization that's why political factors may play the role here the economic and business environment lastly uh, in which the analysis takes place is dynamic for example the requirements may change after some time that is very difficult for the uh, engineers to accommodate it new requirement may emerge from new stakeholders who are not originally consulted right so new uh, requirements may arise it may be difficult for the engineers to accommodate accommodate it getting guys so these are all the difficulties we face while doing the elicitation so hope you understood the concepts suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section